an AI-powered Microsoft Teams agent for the entire organization. This assistant works directly inside the Teams and adapts to each employee's department and role. If you have been using Telegram or even the built-in chat trigger in Anytent for the personal assistant, this takes it to the whole new level. With Microsoft Teams integration, you can deploy enterprise-wide AI assistants that boosts productivity and cuts response time dramatically. The full template is ready for the download. So let me show you this template now. If I just start running this workflow now, and it will stop here because if it is from the executive. Now I will just show you how it works. So this chat trigger will get any new message which is sent. This is connected to Microsoft Teams account. You need to simply connect your Microsoft Teams account here. So I am right now connected. So it means that it is ready to listen to any chat triggers here and it is active right now. And this one is the node that will transform the chat ID and the message ID. So these both are important because you need to send the response back to the message ID and you need to get the information of the chat ID. I'm using wait node here. Just wait for one second to avoid uh, many messages going to the Microsoft Teams API. So this might be considered as a bot. That's why I have added these wait nodes to make sure that the moment you get the message, now you're going to get the details of this message from the Teams. So this will be trigger triggered. Based on the trigger, you will get the details of this chat message by using the chat ID. So this chat ID is triggered and the message ID is also added. So that's why I was mentioning, you have to mention the chat ID also and message ID. Both are extracted from the previous node. Then this is the uh, AI agent. You need to ensure that the message that is coming here, it is not from the AI agent. Otherwise, it will keep on doing loop because the AI agent will be responding back to its own message. So it will run a loop. So we need to stop that loop. So that is why we have mentioned and we have filtered here that the chat agent is not equal to this ID, which means that if it is not equal to this ID, it will continue. Otherwise, it will stop here. So any messages that is coming from the chat AI agent, it will stop. Otherwise, it will continue. This contains a lot of information. So you don't need to get all these details. You are looking for only the message. Somebody is mentioning AI agent, then only AI agent responds back. It's, this could happen in case of a group chat where uh, you don't want the AI agent to respond to all the messages in the group. So you want to respond only if it is being asked by the AI from the AI agent. So that's where we will be using this mention also. And then from also is mentioned here so that you can personalize it that who has sent this message whether you are mentioned or not, and this is the message detail. Then you will be continuing next to get the more about this because uh, this trigger is not giving you every information. One most important information is whether the message type is one-to-one -one or it is a group message or it is the message within the team or it is message within the meeting. So you don't need to respond to every message depending upon how you want to build this further. If you want to respond to the messages which are within the group, then you can accordingly use the filter. So get more details. We get all the details using the Graph Microsoft uh, API. So this is in fact the Graph API. And from here, it will get you details of this. So from the predefined credential, you will get you use the get method to get the details of this chat email. So once you get this, again, you have to use the filter here. And what I have added here, if this message was sent to an executive, you can build the specific AI agent for your uh, executives, for different teams, for different employees, and so on. This message is again coming here and using the filter one-on-one, -on -one, which means that this is between two people. One is the AI agent. AI agent, you have to, of course, create an account in Microsoft Office 365, and that has to be connected here. And then it will be one-to-one, -one, which means that the uh, chat message has to go to the specific uh, AI account, and then AI account is going to respond you back. So here, filter will be one-to-one, -one because here I'm adding the type, that the type of message should be one-to-one. -one. And then this is the AI agent. This AI agent will be generating the response. What it will do, it has its own brain, of course, the OpenAI chat model. Here is the memory buffer, of course. Uh, I'm adding 10 here, but if you have connected PostgreSQL or uh, you have used any 
uh, other external memory for it, which will help you to get personalized response back to the user. Of course, it is limitless. There are limitless possibilities. You can connect it with any graph database also so that uh, AI agent knows about this person, uh, that who has, what has been the message, what this person is asking all about and all of that. So you can, of course, uh, refine, keep refining the AI agent to respond back to the user. And even you can then connect various tools. You can connect his calendar. You can connect various other aspects to ensure that the user get personalized response. Here, what tools are connected here? With this specific AI agent, I have connected the company's policies. I have connected the company's information. I have connected the employee's database so that in case the chat message is about getting the information about a specific employee. So this particular information will get the response back. So I will just show you. It has the user bio. It has the user designation, user's cost center, job function, and all of that. It is directly connected to MySQL database that contains the information of the employees. And it is a live database which will give the current employees and those who are working right now and those who are not on leave. So all of these filters are added here. And these are the terminologies and abbreviations within the company that are used so that whenever there is any abbreviation used, so it understands that what it is being asked and the response comes back. Of course, the possibilities are limitless. You can connect various tools. For example, if I uh, connect the calculator where the user wants to uh, get the calculations for different uh, type of uh, uh, reports or different numbers, so AI agent can respond back by doing correct calculations here. And even when you connect it with the, uh, the database where you, you're connecting, whether with the zero count, for example, if you are connecting with zero, where you want uh, various reports to be fetched. Now, for example, you want to connect this agent with the CFO. And when CFO needs the information uh, back from the uh, zero, so it will generate the response. It will use the calculator to do the calculations. And it will also get the abbreviations to understand if any abbreviation was used in zero. So what does that abbreviation is all about? And then response back. So possibilities are limitless, of course. You can use this particular uh, template to enhance further. These three nodes are extremely important. One is the chat trigger. Another is get the message details. And then is to get the detailed message where you can have one-on-one -on -one conversation of the AI agent with the person who is asking for it. So there are various exe executions. I have recently built it. Uh, of course, these all executions are successful. It is responding back to the user the way user wants to get the response. This is working fine now. You can connect various MCP servers also here. You can connect various tools here, various applications, whether it is your CRM, whether it is your accounting system, finance system, whether you want to respond back to the customer, even the external parties, when the tenant ID is not matching, you can, of course, add filter here to a specific tenant ID and then switch that to a different route where uh, external communication or when, when somebody is chatting with this particular AI agent and that chat trigger is external, you can always get the response back from the uh, other AI agent that will be predominantly working for the external parties or that will be responding back to the external chat uh, notifications. And then you can filter here. You can add if here I have filtered it, if sender is a CIO. So CIO's AI agent will have connection or access to different tools. CEO's AI agent will be having the access to different tools. So you can rename it. For example, I will rename it employees AI agent. So this will be responding back to all the employees, which will have, of course, access to the company policies, company's information, employees, a database, and abbreviations within the company. And even you can connect any knowledge base that you want to connect here. And then rest of these uh, messages, you can filter here and you can build specific CIO. Uh, for example, I can just copy and paste this. And of course, the major aspect is the prompt here. So this is exactly built for the specific role and all of that. You can, of course, make the changes to fit your needs and requirements. I have provided the prompt library. Also, you have to refine or define this prompt here. So major task for you to build the AI agent is, of course, to build the prompt and to give the access to the tools uh, that this AI agent will be using. Of course, an AI agent is like an employee because it needs to perform various actions. So you are giving a brain here to the AI agent 
you are giving a memory to it to memorize certain for certain interactions then you are giving it a calculator you are giving it a book to understand what are the abbreviations you are giving it access to the employees database you are giving access to company's information and the policies so as many tools as you connect with this ai agent ai agent will understand and based on this it will give a response back to the chat messages let's continue to the next video where you learn what other aspects of automations or enterprise automations can be built